Hey, it's Rob. I'm up at Mom's uh, and we're doing some work on her lawnmower. She's got a riding lawnmower that's uh, pretty old, probably 20 years. And uh, the mower deck is really, really heavy. It's, it, I, I think that there's an assist spring that's supposed to be lifting it up. And I'm pretty sure that that spring is missing. So I want to pop it up and take a look at it. But in order to pop it up and take a look at it, I needed to get a jack. And a uh, jack to lift up a riding mower is uh, a little different than a car jack. So uh, luckily, Elden M Supply had one on sale at a pretty decent price. I have to admit, I was, I was kind of surprised. Um, this thing looks like it's pretty hefty. So I'm going give to uh, give it a shot. I'm going to try and finish putting it together and then jack it up and see what we can find. At least I hope so. Before I go a whole lot farther, I'm going to read the instructions. Uh, pretty sure that I got this put together right, but we'll find out. Mom's garage isn't heated. Alright, so getting the first look at what's underneath here. These are a whole lot of leaves. That's its maximum storage height. And that's the ride height that it's adjusted now. Why doesn't it go up here? Great. There's nothing obvious with the spring. I think that there's. Can you show me something on here when you're uh, just when where it used to be when you were when it was right when it was working properly? Because there's a spring on here that goes from about this second notch down to the second to last notch. And that range is pretty good. Okay, I'll show you. But if I try and this is pull it back any higher. That thing that was there mm -hmm. was pulled up and I never had that before. This or this? Yeah. That thing. Mm -hmm. And somebody had put it what up here? Well, this is, that's as far down as it goes. It doesn't, yeah. go, it doesn't go any lower. I mean, it physically doesn't go any but lower. But I don't know if that kept it from 
being easy to move or not. No, that really has nothing to do with it, but I mean, can, can you move this between here and there? And you're supposed to have it. No. Don't, don't go back any farther, just on that no, one. No, see, it has to go all the way back here to turn the engine off or to start it. It does. Okay. It has to go there to, to turn it off or to turn it on. Okay. And it has to be in neutral down here. Right. Okay. Well, I'm not turning it off or turning it on, so... Okay, it's not the neutral balance. Well, I just, I don't want to... I don't want to mess with it. So, alright, I'm going to have to take this off to get in there and look at it. So... Yay! What? <laughs> it's just more stuff to take apart. <laughs> well, so far I'm doing okay. clever trick I learned in small engine mechanics school that, you know, I never went to. Got your phone. Use your phone as an inspection camera. Yep, that's a Phillips head. Alright. Good enough. culprit is this. There's a missing bolt and this washer was loose in there. And what that bolt acts as is a hinge pin for a control rod that uh, helps to lift the whole mechanism and keep it in line. So with that gone, the whole thing dropped down and she don't work no more. So it's off to the hardware store to find a bolt and a nut to keep it in place. So, turns out that uh, there's a missing bolt and a bushing in the, uh, in the part of the control set of lifting the blades. Uh, it looks like that's part of the piece that keeps it in alignment and keeps it at the right height when it's going. I'm not entirely sure because it's really, really hard to get to. And to get to it any better, I would have to take some serious stuff off of that lawnmower might have to like pull the engine out and things like that so it's it's pretty rough um, otherwise I might be able to pull the deck off and get to it and then I'd have to put the deck back on don't think I really want to do that I think I'm just going to uh, try and put it in as best I can from the top and see how that goes but right now I'm heading to the hardware store to pick up some hardware <laughs> got an assortment of bits from the hardware store. That's the important one. That's the one that I want to make sure fits all right and proper. I like magnets. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds like a perfect fit. All right. So now, I'm gonna try and assemble this in such a way so that I've got a bolt, fender washer, bushing, and then on the other side of that, Trying to get you inside here. It's a really difficult position. Ho, ho, 
that felt good. That felt so good. All right, let me pop you over to the outside. And let's make sure it's pressed in. Put another fender washer on. Regular washer. And I got this little neoprene. Oh, I got the wrong size. Son of a bitch. Nope. Yep. All right. That's okay. And pop that on. And there's my lock nut. There's my lock nut. Okay. Now. With that in place, it's not tightened down, but I'm going to give it a go. Alright, I'm going to stop recording because there's still some hanky-panky going on. Alright, so this is the problem. This is the normal blade height. That's as far down as it goes, and that's as far up as it goes. But it's got to go back to here in order to start it. And there's a starter switch in there that makes contact. But this section is a pain in the ass. That's still way too heavy, and I don't know why. To me, there should be a spring that helps assist that go. But I can't see anywhere in there where that spring is supposed to be. I don't know. I'm kind of stumpy doing this one. I did get this fixed. That exterior, that is working just beautifully, so I'm okay with that, but I'm not so sure about the rest of it. I know there's a lot of stuff that's going on down in here. Let's see if I can throw your bone with some light. <clears throat> Get some of the dangly bits out of the way. Okay, so that is a part right there at this shaft. If you watch this, that's the one that's the pain in the butt. This, this can go up and down all day and that doesn't move. But when it gets to here, that's the one that's the problem. Now there is a spring you can't see that's down in there. It does put some tension. And that's actually back farther. It does put some tension on it. Maybe I'll raise up the back end and see if there's anything in the back end that makes more sense. I think I might try that. Yes. When you get that done, you can take some 
This is at a really awkward angle. This spring right here is the one that's the pain in the butt. I'm gonna try and unhook it first. Another hole, you can't really see it, but it's it's attached here, but I think maybe it's supposed to be attached up here. So let's give it a try. Oh, 
at you now. Oh. All right, show you what happened here. The spring was originally attached here, which meant that when you were pulling on this thing, it was pulling this spring like mad. I moved it up here where I think it's supposed to be. And now it's really easy to lift. I mean, it's still, it's about as easy as putting the blades up and down. So I'm pretty sure that that was done incorrectly when they did some changes. But I'm pretty happy now. I think this is gonna be. All right, showing you what I mean. Let me uh, pop some light again. So that's as far down as it goes. That's as far up as it goes. And then to pull it up here is a whole lot easier now. Ah, because this is the starting position. All right, I think we're done. <sighs> All right, that was a few hours of wrestling and uh, trying to figure out how the doggone thing works, but I believe I got it fixed. So I'm hoping. Anyway, because uh, pain in the butt. Honestly, if nothing else, mom can bring it into the uh, service guys in the spring she was planning to do but I'm hoping that I just saved her you know a couple hundred bucks in service fees so well I think that's gonna be it I'm gonna put her back together and uh, pull the tarp out do some cleanup and then go in and get some food because it's dinner time looking like a storm is coming in tomorrow so I might be leaving in the morning uh, be on the road with some freezing rain but before the big snow hits, because there's gonna be something like nine to 12 inches dumped on Bemidji, and I would really like to be home before that happens, because if I'm not home before that happens, I'm not gonna get home until Monday or Tuesday, and I really don't wanna spend that much time here. It's not that I don't love mom, but I don't have as much planned, and I didn't bring clothes, you know. So anyway, see you guys later.